Arlene Lasky has been drawing since she could hold a pencil. I just sit down with a marker, a pen, a pencil, a crayon, anything, and I put it on the paper and it takes itself for a walk and something emerges. She's one of over 40 artists across the Homedale area of Brantford who displayed their work in the fourth annual Art Crawl. She says around 30 people stopped by her booth this afternoon. Most were drawn to her sketches. You have to do things in front of people. You have to take art where people are in order to make them aware. Even though it rained heavily all afternoon in Brantford, many of the artists were still in good spirits, being able to show their work, many for the first time since the pandemic began. Art Crawl was canceled last year due to the pandemic, and this year organizers encourage vendors to show off their work outdoors or have customers wear masks inside. We're all yearning to get out and about, so we thought it was a nice thing to do this because it's uh, supposed to be outdoors. Many creators say it's been a tough year for the art community with few galleries open and little chance to show off their work. It's been a little bit isolating. You have time to work in the studio, but you don't have those connections and the interactions with fellow artists or the people who are interested in art. So. It's difficult to get into a gallery because the galleries weren't open. And now, of course, the galleries are starting to open. But for me, it was a case of let's get some exposure for my art. Barbara Tompkins had 50 paintings for sale today most of which she created after retiring in 2004. It's pretty easy during COVID to find time to do that. So a lot of it's been done within the last year or two. Besides selling paintings, the artists are also looking to inspire more people to get out and get creative. Every act of art has, an, it has, has the potential of changing the world a little bit. Emily Taylor, CHCH News, Brantford.